Welcome to Public House, intimate conversations with people making a difference in the Hudson Valley. And now from Paula's Public House in Poughkeepsie, here's Paula Young. Hi, I'm Paula Young and welcome to Public House. This week I have a very interesting guest, John Penny, who is the editorial director of the Poughkeepsie Journal. That's right. Correct. To nice to meet you. Basically, yeah. It's an opinion, opinion engagement editor this year. That's what they're calling me. The so. opinion engagement editor that's in right. a year where everyone has an opinion or maybe 20. That's right. And everyone's engaging all over social oh, media. Oh, they are. So, they are. So that's definitely all true. So tell me about you. You started out as an ink-stained wretch. What happened? Yeah, tell actually, me. my dad was a journalist. He was a copy editor for the New York Daily News. He died when I was five years old. I uh, committed suicide. So um, it's a really terrible story. And when I got older, I asked my mom, uh, you know, she asked me, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, I want to be a firefighter or a cop or that kind of thing. And I said, well, what did that do? And he sa she said, uh, well, he was a newspaper guy. So I got involved. I said, that sounded interesting. And I started taking up writing, and that's where I ended up. And you studied communications, mm -hmm. as did I. I also worked for the Daily News, so we have that in common. Ah, very good. Very good paper. It's really an iconic paper. Yes. Not the sun, but then that, that's long ago. Yeah. So what did you communicate? What did you, were you want to be an actor? Did you want to be, uh, what did you kind of want to focus yeah, on? Yeah, so when I was, I was in Little League, I would come home from the Little League games and I would write up uh, the game like I was writing it for my hometown newspaper, which at the time was Newsday. And that's how I, you know, moved right into that. I was worked for my college newspaper and went from there. Wow, I also wrote for Newsday. You and I have a lot of people we know in common. So tell me about... Poughkeepsie, the Poughkeepsie Journal, which is sure. the local paper, right? And I read it. I thank you. I think I subscribe to it actually. <laughs> well, we hope so. And it's it's a very interesting newspaper because it's local, and tries to not be too much politically weird. Mm -hmm. Seems to me depends when on I who you, <laughs> depends on who you talk to. When I read it, I find it's very local, which is what I like about yeah. it. That's, that's definitely our, our emphasis. The whole A section is local, and then the B section is the USA Today section. So, yeah, our, that, that is our bread and butter. That's, you know, what we cover. And what do you think about the Hudson Valley, the way it's going? Tell me, because you, you have a different viewpoint. Marcus Molinaro sat in your chair and talked to me about the workings, the political workings. But you have a different viewpoint. Yeah, so I think, as the editorial director, what right. do you think? I always describe the Hudson Valley this way, that it's a very strong region with some, sm with some weaker cities. And so the, the effort is to kind of make the city stronger. Okay. What does that mean? Well, it means like the city of Poughkeepsie is, has struggled a lot. And so we're always trying to make the city stronger and, you know, try to get the government to do certain things better. And how do you do that in the newspaper? Well, editorially, I write editorials kind of holding them accountable and things like that. Ah. Or I try to. So now, fake news. Right. It's, it's uh, as a jour former journalist, as a journalist, I don't believe in fake news. I believe right. that news is news and there's always a truth and it's who, what, where, when, and how. And right. those are the facts. Mm -hmm. So how do you... Do people accuse you of that at the Poughkeepsie Journal? Oh, absolutely. We get letters all the time, people accusing us of being too left or too right. And we try to stay somewhere in the middle. And we try to, you know, we research things and we do everything we can to, um, you know, make sure things are accurate. Yeah, but you said that your focus is into getting Poughkeepsie and lifting it up. Right. So in order to do so, you have to, there's a lot of minefields, no? Yes. And that's, that's, again, where it's all a matter of uh, perception. Some people are going to think we're too left. Some people are going to think we're too right. And in what sense? Tell me about who Politi says you're too left. Sense. Who well, says you're too left? The conservatives in the area will say that you know Trump supporters or Republicans, and then Democrats will say, you know, you're, you're too much to the right. But it's funny because I don't see it when I read the paper. What I see is you're covering what's happening. Right. Well, yeah. that is very true. But again, people look at things through their own lens and they're going to... Exactly. Gonna we that. always filter it through our own personal right. little filter find. Right. Now, where do you see the role of journalism? Newspapers are going out of business everywhere. Right. It's becoming more of an electronic medium. Print medium is going out. Right. Where do you see the future of it? The future is in digital, and that's why we do so much on our website. We have video on our website like you're doing right now. Uh, we still do print, but we do almost everything that we start. We start now in the digital uh, world, and then we move to print. And what's your opinion on that? 
I think it's what it is, you know, so it's, you, know, you have no really choice but to do that, so. I personally like to have that newspaper right. in my hands. Right. Do you, do you think that that is really going to be a thing of the past? I think the Sunday paper will stay around for a long time and some other issues will stay around, but eventually you'll start seeing less print, more digital. If the Sunday paper doesn't stay around, what are the kids going to do with the silly putty? <laughs> exactly. And they no, I think, I think print's going to be around for a long time, but it's going it's to keep evolving. And where do you, do you, I presume you plan to stay with the Bickensy Journal? I do. Okay, so tell me in 50 words or less, where do you see it going in terms of community? Where do you see the Poughkeepsie Journal, what role is it going to play? Well, I think that's one of the things that we've been trying to do is what I call put our shoulder into the community more. We're out in the community a lot. We do community projects. Um, we've done forums. We did a forum on heroin, on water quality. You know, we do things like that. We do like mayoral forms, we do a lot of things like that. Um, so I think it's, it's more about being in the community, doing digital work, but, but also keeping a print project. Product you do going. realize that not everyone has a computer. You do are, you are, there are many we, senior citizens, right. we've aged the pyramid in America. There's as many older as there are younger. A lot of folks still are not computer literate. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, again, that's where you have to look at where the future is going to. Where it's not like we stopped printing. We're still printing every day. And for a paper our size, that's, you know, pretty good. And um, your circulation is? It's like 20,000, 25, but you don't really look at circulation the way you used to because of the digital numbers. Ah, yes, indeed. What so let me, give you, let me give you an example. I could do an editorial on the heroin crisis and just using hashtags and social media, that reach goes way beyond right. Poughkeepsie. It's anyone who's interested in that issue that's kind of set up their computer to get alerts for those so types of things. So how do you pull the numbers? How do you pull the information numbers for we, yourself? We have a couple of uh, programs that help us with metrics. Ah, interesting. Let me ask you something. As a journalist, your dad obviously had sounds in his head he had to make go away. That was obviously very strong for you. You went into journalism, right. which is really about the truth in the American way. Right. So what do you, what motivates you every day to get up and, and, and face the world with a dazzling well, smile? Well, one, I just absolutely love this area that I live in. And two, I love to learn. And so every day I get to learn. I get to call people and ask expert opinions on just about any issue you could think of. It's just wonderful. I think you're an inspiration, and I hope more young people decide to go into journalism. And don't believe that whole fake news thing. Journalism's where it's at. It's really interesting that actually J schools are doing very well. People, oh, there are always people that will want to gravitate to this field. Whether they can make a living in it is another issue. Well, making a living today. I, I admire what you do. I have done it. I know how hard it is. And I thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And read the Poughkeepsie Journal. It is your source for information for the Hudson Valley. Thanks, John Penny. Thanks. Great All to right. meet you. Thank Good. you so much. Hi, I'm Paula Young, and I'm the proprietor here of Paula's Public House. Do join me for good food, good cheer, and good fellowship. We are here, we have fun, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. Come on down.